YouTube. All right, as you see by the title, we have another sample to review. Now this sample in particular, this is going to be my, it's called the Itoli. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's French for star, but this is gonna be my first shirt. I already had one of these made, honestly. So this is the second variation of the sample. The first one, it's in my bag. I really don't feel like pulling it out. Uh, I might pull it out later in the video though, but it's a, it was a two-tone orange. It is, I don't know if you can really see it. I think it's behind me on the board, but I'm gonna put a picture of it right here. But, so the first one was a two-tone effect. It was straight, but I felt like if I had my pattern go all the way around, it would make the piece much better. And I'm gonna need to change the measurements on it. So the first one I got was in a size large. I'm an XL, so I didn't like the way it fit, even if it was a large. Honestly, let me break down the piece though. So this is gonna be a 100% poly button up shirt, but the buttons gonna be rivet buttons that are metal. So they kind of do a resemblance to chrome hearts as far as the buttons go. And then the pattern, I drew the pattern, which is crazy. I drew it, but my manufacturer had an exact pattern of it. So that was a plus. I honestly wanted it to be cotton, but the polyester was the only blend that they had with this specific pattern. So we had to go with that one for this one. But the finishing touch on it though, is these rhinestones. So I have rhinestones going throughout the entire piece. And that honestly makes a world of a difference just because Itoli means star in French. So you know the basis of my brand, Lost Ones. Um, my main emblem is a North Star, so I did want to put homage towards that for this specific piece. Um, honestly, this is probably one of my favorite pieces to date as far as any, like, LO. And I just love that she does this, bro. So, <laughs> I, every time she makes a sample, uh, she'll send it to me with a, it has a, uh, what's it called? Like a little tag on it, and I honestly love it. So, you feel what I'm saying? I don't know how you make you feel good, bro. But yeah, shout out to my manufacturer. I'm really just hoping this joint fits perfect. Honestly, I changed my creative space around, so I can't really try it on and show you, but I'ma just put it on myself to see if I like the way it fits. So the main things that I adjusted on the second variation, changed the collar size, I made it much larger. I eliminated the two-tone effect. And then um, I wanted to make it a little bit thicker. I love the way it feels though, but this is the piece. My Itoli shirt. Oh, and I straightened the hem out as well. Uh, on the first one, I had a traditional hem, so where it would, would like loop down a little bit. I'm gonna put a picture of it right here of my pattern that we cut. But originally it was like this, but now it's just straight hem. This is the piece, as you see, solid front and back, all the same pattern. Some business casual and then we got rhinestones on it. You feel what I'm saying? This is the reference to chrome hearts on the rivet buttons, thicker collar. And we're gonna put a LO uh, size tag in there. This is just for the sample. But yeah, man, good pieces only. I'm about to try this bad boy on though. So I've put on multiple outfits with the Itoli shirt. If you couldn't tell, it's just a banger. I love it. I feel like I just need to. So I got big arms, bro. And I know that for me to release something, if it fits perfect on me, then a consumer will love it. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like the last thing that needs to be fixed is these darn arms. I don't know why though. I think it's just coming up too high on the pit. So I might probably drop that. But other than that, this is a 10 out of 10. I'm not gonna lie. Like, be for real, twin. Like, come on, bro. Oh, this, this, this. If you wanna purchase this, hit me up right here. But honestly, I love it. This is a 10 out of 10 piece. From my first sample to this one, I ain't gonna lie, it is 12.45 a.m. and over Toronto clothes. That's just because I have to keep pushing these pieces out, man. I'm not gonna lie. Like this year is the year we're doing crazy stuff. If you saw two videos ago, no, is it two videos ago? Yeah, if you saw two videos ago, you would see that we got invited to Fashion Week in Vancouver, New York, 
Tokyo, Paris, all of those. Um, so I have to keep pushing out good pieces, bro. I'm not gonna lie. And this is, I wouldn't say it's scary, but this is just something that I gotta put a lot of time and effort into. So just building on my catalog and the things that I have released, I just know that I have to go all in on them, man. And I have no room. I have room for error, but I don't wanna have any errors. Everything I dropped this year, I want it to be certified banger, something that's can hit the streets, take off, that can sell itself. That's really the main thing. And I just want to build something. I just want to build a positive resume when it comes to my brand, man. And right now, you know what I'm saying? We're in the building blocks. Y'all seen everything that we are dropping. I've dropped so much stuff. I'm going to actually drop the last three things that I dropped right here. You feel what I'm saying? And... Like I'm working, bro. Like this one, this is my favorite piece to date. I'm not finna lie. Because you can dress it on every single level. You can go business corp. Like if you wanna be the flashy guy, you can wear this to a, a cocktail party. You can wear this to the club. You can wear this to a dinner. You can wear this if you're going shopping. You can wear this on a chill day at the crib, bro. Like you can, you can wear this on every single level and it still holds its value. And I just want something that will resonate with the buyer in a way and just make the wear comfortable you know like with giving it that it is polyester it has a elegant type of feel to it and i do like that but i'm going to have to make sure that the consumer understands that hey you're gonna have to take this to the dry cleaner we're not throwing this in your dryer you feel what i'm saying we're not ironing this just to get its useful life out of it. You know what I'm saying? Because the price point right now, I don't know what I want to price it at. Honestly, I don't want any of my products to be under a hundred bucks, but this one, I don't know. It's just so much detail in it, man. And we got the embroidered North Star on the back. I haven't showed y'all that yet, but I'm gonna show y'all that once I take this off. But like from the buttons to the stars going all over it, the Swarovski crystals going all over the piece. Like it's, this is a great piece, bro. This is a 10 out of 10 piece. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take this off though and put my hoodie back on. This is easily, easily, easily my favorite piece to date. Right behind my Night Watcher. Like the Night Watcher, low key, but even a, bro, I wish I, matter of fact, I'm gonna show y'all my um, derby trousers. I never showed y'all the derby trousers, bro. And I don't know why I didn't. I think that one was low key just a fast one. Um, I showed y'all the initial ones. We did an initial review in the back. If you've seen it in the previous video, those red trousers. Um, but I released them, man. I finished them. I figured out how to do the rivets on them. I remember that I was telling y'all that was the last thing I needed to fix because they were hanging. So I embedded them actually into the fabric so they don't move. Let me show y'all the North Star as well. The North Star is embroidered right here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have that symbol. The reoccurring thing popping up in all my designs will be my North Star. And that's the one right there. But overall, bro, this piece is crazy, bro. We're doing numbers with this one. I can't lie. And honestly, just because I do want to be couture, be runway fashion, so that's the thing. So with that, comes that high price point, you know? And the thing is, if you're just starting off, stick to your price. When it comes to actually building a brand, not these TikTok brands, not none of that stuff. We're talking about a real life brand, bro. Stick with your prices, man. Stick with your price point because that is what will determine everything, man. That will set you apart from everybody. We're not doing all those oh, discount codes, X, Y, Z, man. Stick with your price. Get this stuff going. I know that starting off capital is really the biggest thing. You know, having that capital, being able to play with that, but build your capital up to where you're able to comfortably have inventory honestly right now i have my last three so we got derby trousers night watcher jacket and dctt i still got all three in stock now I've sold out on sizes but i still have other sizes so it's like i'm not going to drop the price on them just so i can get them sold i'm gonna hold them either i'm gonna find some stylists because you never know what can happen man and you never want to give that up like once you start giving out discounts, people are gonna wait now. Like nobody, when you create the atmosphere of urgency and not accessibility, that will change the game for you. 
because if somebody sees that you're gonna give a discount if it doesn't sell out, all they're gonna do is wait now. Even if they do really want that product, like they're like, oh shoot, I need that, I need that. When it dropped, he gonna be like, well shoot, last time it, it didn't sell out and he gave a discount code, so let me just wait. Don't do that. It's gonna mess everything up for you. And it's, it's just not good at the end of the day, man. People are, they're not gonna, gonna be rushed to buy your pieces. They'd rather sit on the back burner and wait and see if other people buy it. So if I can give you some advice, definitely do that. But let me get my uh, derby trousers real quick just to show you. So the derby trousers, the derby, I ain't gonna lie, the derby trousers is crazy, bro. So we kept the initial front pockets, like the Western style doors. And then we got the embroidered North Star on the back pocket right there. We did lengthen it so that the iPhone does fit in there. Also, we changed the ribbon buttons. Last time we had, there was a different design on them, but this time almost like a capital type of rivet. See, let me put it in there for you. Oh, oh. You feel what I'm saying? And we actually embedded it into the fabric. Because last time we had it, it was real floppy and stuff. If you remember in the last video that we did with the trousers, they were floppy on the outside. But now I did them good. And I also put in a um, four size adjustable waistband. So given the fact that these are trousers and not your traditional sweatpants, I didn't want to make a lot of size variations because it makes costs go up when you're doing that. So what I just did was I let the buyer know that these are adjustable by four sizes. So essentially for a size small, I believe it was like a, like a 27 to 31 waistband. And essentially it'll start off at the small size. You can stretch it out to the bigger, but then you'll have your drawstrings to tighten them. So that's a big plus because I give range for everybody. Now I will say though, with this type of sizing, I know that it did hinder some buyers just because they were unaware because I was getting so many DMs asking about it. So moving forward, I am going to be able to voice that better in later drops. It's just a matter of trial and error. Honestly, that's really all it is, is just trial and error for um, But then we did do the label on the inside as well too. We get it. Lost one size small. You can't beat that, man. You always got to do the little details because when building the brand, you just you want to be what you you want to start off with how you want your brand to end up being. So pay attention to whoever you draw inspiration from and how they do their products, and that's how you need to attack your own products, man. But yeah, overall, bro, this is a 10 out of 10. I love these trousers. I'm not gonna lie. We did um, snow snow wash on the front panels, and then as well on the back as well too, on it just to provide a little bit of wear and tear, little I wouldn't say vintage look, but just wear and tear, honestly. And then these rivets, bro. Like, well, these are shank buttons actually. The shank buttons on the side beautiful like i'm not gonna lie this is my favorite detail to date as far as all my pieces this is my favorite one for sure because this was referencing the western belt the ammunition belt that cowboys wore back in the day like come on bro the detail is crazy my camera's about to die guys but all in all we're working just keep going never give up and drop things that you like at the end of the day put out things that you like and that you would wear that is my biggest advice that i could give you if you are interested in purchasing any of these items check out the link link in bio follow me on instagram follow the page on instagram because we're pushing our products all 2024. this year is the year i changed my life with my fashion and i'm bringing y'all along for the journey man eat this shirt i hope you guys like this sample I will be dropping this one very soon, if not this month, next month. So be on the lookout. But this is the next drop that I'm doing, man. I wish you guys nothing but the best. I love you guys. Peace.